So let's talk about peep sight rotation. Every tournament I go to, I see somebody draw their bow back and their peep sight isn't straight. And then you'll see them uh, reach up with their mouth and twist and turn on it when they get the full draw. Or, or maybe before they draw their bow back, they'll adjust their D-loop around, turning it on the string to get their peep sight to draw perfectly straight back. Man, it's a, it's a common scene. We see this all the time. Personally, myself, it drives me crazy because I realize exactly how important peep sight uh, rotation is to accuracy. Two, it's a, it's a really simple fix if you have access to a bow press. And myself, I'm a visual learner, so I often teach in that same fashion. I have a drawing sketched up over here that will serve as a visual aid for me to be able to teach you guys how to fix that problem. So we'll visit the whiteboard shortly. For some of you, what I'm talking about, it may not even be an option because your strings aren't quality made. You get all kinds of peep rotation and it's just a nightmare. Well, uh, that, that's why I choose Winner's Choice strings. I don't ever have that issue. Uh, they actually have a lifetime warranty on the product against serving separation, uh, for zero peep rotation and zero creep, which is a pretty bold claim and they stand behind it really well. Um, I think the first set of one or choice strings that I ever owned was actually when I started shooting Elite and uh, as I pulled the bow out of the box, it already has those on there. So, you know, that's a, about 110 bucks worth of added value to that bow that I didn't have to go spend extra um, as you know, a lot of you have to do when you buy other bow manufacturers' bows. Because uh, the strings they put on them, a lot of times, they're just not quality made. Once I get my bow all tuned up and it's all shooting good, sometimes I have to make a slight peep height adjustment. Um, so if my peep sight was sitting straight to begin with, well, it probably isn't now. So I need to be able to make that adjustment uh, without having to add a twist to the string or take a twist out of the string because I'm happy with the results and I like the way it shoots, so I need a method that doesn't involve that. So what I use is a strand swapping method where I swap strands from side to side on the peep side. It's a simple process, but I must tell you first before you try this, um, don't do it uh, at full draw, don't try it at full draw, don't um, try it with the bow at rest because all you're doing is risking cutting a strand in your string and you don't want to do that. So put the bow in a press, completely relax the string in order to do this process that I'm getting ready to show you. And I mean, and that's kind of common knowledge, but sometimes people do crazy things and next thing you know, that's why they're at the bow shop needing a new set of strings because they've done something foolish and cut some strands. So. Use a bow press, be smart about it, and let's go to the whiteboard and check this out now. Alright, so my drawing may not be the best in the world, but I'm sure you'll understand what I'm talking about by the time we're finished. Alright, so this is a perfect peep sight the way I like them. It's dead square to me. It's sitting perfectly uh, straight and square in the string. D-loop straight off the back. I draw the bow. It never rotates. It's perfectly straight. That's a perfect peep sight. Okay, this one over here is what I would call a peep sight that's slightly facing to the left. So here's how we're going to fix this. First off, put the bow in the press, completely relax the string. And what you're going to notice is the strands, how they flow on the right side and how they flow on the left side of the peep. They're in a twisted order. So what you're going to look for is the most accessible strand on the right side and you'll move it across the front of the peep sight to the left side and then take a strand from the left side and move it around the back of the peep to the right side. Now sometimes it takes more than one strand from each side to rotate the peep because it's a very small uh, change. So you might have to move two strands from the right and then two strands from the left or three and three but whatever you do, make sure you balance that load, however many strands it takes to actually straighten it out. This peep side over here is what I would call a right-facing peep. And you do the same thing over here, except it's backwards. So, in order to fix this, again, put the bow in the press, relax the string, and you'll notice how the strands come off the peep side. 
look for the most accessible strand that's on the left side and move it across the front of the peep to the right side and then take the most accessible strand from the right side and move it around the back of the peep to the left side. And again, you'll have to play with the amount of strands in order to fix the peep sight um, because everybody's uh, situation might be a little bit different. So that's the process in fixing a peep sight using the strand swapping method. So if you're struggling to get this look where the peep sight's square and it stays straight when you draw the bow back, Again, let's go back to the string maker. A lot of times that's the problem. It could be the serving direction. There's multiple things that could cause the problem, but what I would tell you the easiest fix is just go to winnerschoicestrings.com. They got everything you need right there. Quick and easy. You can purchase online. And, uh, you know, I hope this has helped somebody uh, with their problems because I see this very often. So I know somebody out there needs to pay attention. And uh, anyway... Good luck to you guys on the range and good luck in the woods this fall.